Oh, welcome. How can I help? Oh, it's you. I'm glad to see you again, sweetie. Have you really polished off all those books you're holding there? My, I'm always impressed by your voracious appetite for knowledge. You come by so often, I can't help but wonder if you visit the Imperial Library for more than just books. Perhaps there's someone you'd like to see? Someone who works here? Just the books. All right then. I see you like to get straight to business, as usual. I'll just take these from you. Oh, careful, hun. I haven't finished filing down my claws yet. I don't want to scratch that lovely skin of yours. There we are. You know, most people with dragon blood in their veins wish they had gotten the claws, but honestly, I just find them a hassle. They grow so quickly and I need a special nail file to keep them in check. They sharpen themselves almost every week and it takes forever to dull them down. I'd have much preferred to have been born with ordinary human nails. If it were up to me, I'd ditch the claws and get more scales instead. Everyone assumes that they're hard and sharp like real dragon scales. But for me, they're actually quite soft and flexible. They're so much easier to take care of than my bare skin, too. They don't dry out or get sunburned. They just need a quick daily polish. Ah, that's right, the books. All right, let's take a look. I don't remember checking any of these out for you. Did you come and check out with another librarian behind my back? <laughs> Silly thing. I'm sure I told you to come and find me whenever you need help. I can provide you with everything you need, you know? All right, all right. Let's see here. Ooh. A Beauty So Rare and Other Poems Are these love poems? Perhaps you're looking to woo someone with them? You know, a nice romantic poem always gets me. Ah, uh, they're poems about nature. Well, I suppose that's romantic in its own way. Next is a treatise on the ethics of potions. Well, that's interesting. Trying to find out if it's wrong to slip someone a love potion, are you? You know, you wouldn't have to resort to that if... It's about the dangers of replacing traditional medicine with potions. I see, I see. Alright, look. It's late winter right now. You know what that means, right? The Festival of Hearts is almost here. You know, the one celebrating the Goddess of Love? The most romantic day of the year? You can't tell me you aren't even a little interested in having somebody to go with. Unless... wait, are you in a relationship? If you are, you should have told me, and we could have avoided this whole awkward... You don't think there's anybody who'd be interested in going with you? What do you... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at you, being so coy. And here I was starting to think that you weren't interested. All right, all right. I'll admit, the whole clueless dork act is pretty cute. I'll play along for now. Hmm? Oh, right. The books. Because that's 
definitely what this is all about, right? <laughs> well, I'll get to them later. You're a very trustworthy patron, so I'll trust that you didn't leave any out. Oh, and just where do you think you're going? To get more books. Always with the books. I mean, I guess this is a library. Still, don't you want to stay here for a while longer? You know, just for a change of pace. I make for very pleasant company, you know. Oh, don't think you're getting away from me that easily. If you won't stay here with me, then I'll just have to follow you. I'm not known for giving up on what I want. It's the dragon in me. It's fine. I can take a break. The other librarians can handle it. So, what are you looking to learn about today? Anything I can help with? I would be happy to do anything for you that you'd like. Anything at all. Aha, uh -huh. so you want to get to know me better. I thought so. So, what is it you want to know, hun? About my dragon blood. Alright, not what I was expecting. But I guess it's a fair question. Well, simply put, I'm mostly human, but I have a dragon ancestor. I believe she was my great-great-grandmother on my mother's side. <laughs> I know that's hard to imagine. When you think dragon, you're probably imagining one of those big ones that are only slightly more intelligent than an animal. But there are lots of different sorts of dragons. In particular, ones who are intelligent and skilled enough in magic to shapeshift. Yep, she was one of those. She fell in love with a human man who had once tried to steal treasure from her hoard. <laughs> Funnily enough, and she took the form of a human so they could have children. As it turns out, bearing a child while shapeshifted does funny things to it. She knew that before, though. The baby just ends up with some minor attributes from the parent's original form. Yeah, so pretty much my whole family has some dragon-like attributes to them. It runs stronger in some than in others, and it doesn't really seem to matter how closely related we are to her. My mom has barely any features at all aside from her teeth and some small horns, but my brother is fully scaled and even has a snout. As you can see, I'm sort of in the middle. Yeah, I get that a lot. I probably would make for a really good fighter if I were interested. But honestly, being part dragon is good for more than just fighting. What I've personally found most useful is the mindset that comes along with it. Dragons instinctively hoard things, and that gives us a good mind for organization and storage. That's what makes me such a good librarian. Some people find the job boring, but it's actually really satisfying for me. Of course, there are downsides too. I mentioned it a bit ago, but I can get a little bit obsessive about things or even people that I want. It's not like I'm about to resort to theft or kidnapping, but I start thinking about them all the time, and 
I have a hard time being subtle about wanting them, which of course you would have already noticed. Right, right, of course you don't know what I'm... Hang on, can we be perfectly honest with each other for a moment? Because you're either a really, really good actor, or you really haven't noticed. Oh my goodness, my sweet, dear, adorable bookworm. What I want is you. As in, I am interested in you. Yes, romantically interested. What else could I mean? I... What did you think I meant when I said all those things? About how lovely your skin looks, or about how I want you to myself? I even said I'd do anything you wanted. Oh, honey, no. No, that's not me being nice. Being nice is when you smile at someone and tell them to have a good day. That was flirting, darling. I've been flirting with you every time you've come here, ever since we met. Do you remember? Perhaps not. I'm sure it wasn't an unusual day to you. You were just going to the library like you do so often. I had only been here a couple days after getting recommended for my previous job at a much smaller library. Naturally, I deal with a lot of people in my line of work. Usually when someone meets me for the first time, they do one of two things. Either they stare at me while trying to pretend they aren't, which is annoying, or they make a big fuss about how they don't judge based on appearance, which is even more annoying. But you, you were different. You asked me directly what I was, not in a rude or disgusted way just mildly curious. I told you I was dragon-blooded. Just mildly curious. I told you I was dragon-blooded. And you nodded and proceeded to check out your books. Of course, it's not like that's the only thing I like about you. You're attractive and intelligent. Even though you're hopeless at taking hints, but that's what drew my attention to you. So, let me say this now as clearly as I can. I want you. I want you to be my treasure and nobody else's. I told you that I can be obsessive. But I guarantee you that I will respect your personal space and your privacy. Just so long as you agree that at the end of the day, you belong to me. In return, I will care for you, protect you, and love you with all of my heart. feels so good to say that out loud, finally. Sorry, I know that was a bit intense, just my dragon blood. Although, I think the human side of me feels pretty strongly for you too. Anyway, what do you think? Really? Oh, thank you, thank you. Let me just... <laughs> wow. So, um, how about that festival? Wanna go?